The saints have very fascinating life stories. Some of them were endowed with the ability to heal people or to perform miracles. Others were people with extraordinary personality traits. But sainthood is not only about possessing something extraordinary. Saints are truly and simply those who with their lives have pleased God. Blessed Maria Dolores Rodriguez Sopeña is an example of simple, holy life. She was born in the middle of the 19th century into a wealthy family, but she chose to dedicate her life to the sick and the poor. Paulo Merenda, the postulator of the canonization cause of Blessed Dolores, said that she was a significant figure for the Catholic social doctrine and also for the right role of women in society in the Church. Let's not forget we are at the end of the 19th century. This is several years before Pope Leo XIII writes his Rerum Novarum, the encyclical dealing with labor and the world of the new working class. So we can say that many years before the publication of the encyclical, Dolores was ahead of her time. Her aims in establishing her social houses and all that would follow till her religious congregation called the Sisters of the Catechetical Institute are the same as in the Pope's encyclical years later. Blessed Dolores was 52 when she founded this new religious institute. The institute is established at the end of the 19th century and in 1907, Pope Pius X himself gives his formal approval. She was the first woman in the history of the Church to receive the approval of the constitution of a new institute by the Pope himself. She decided that the members of her congregation would not wear the habit so that they could be closer also to those who were anti-clericalist, and her institute became one of the first religious lay communities. St. Pope John Paul II beatified Dolores on March the 23rd, 2003. During the celebration, he said that the problems of emigration, the social tensions or globalization of our day, brought Blessed Dolores Sopeña to dedicate her life to performing works of evangelization. Dolores was a small woman, in the sense that she was good-natured and simple but also very determined and strong. She loved the poor. She loved those who have been cast away from society. She gave her life to them. Today, Dolores Sopeña is an example of saintly life to thousands of people. Currently, the Sopeña family counts three institutions founded by the Blessed herself and the organizations that follow her charism. <laughs>